The Bernina 790 is known for its jumbo bobbin, which means that there is a slightly different bobbin case. So I wanna show you just some basics of how to get this in the machine and what are some of the things you need to know. The first thing I wanna remind you of is the importance of cleaning and oiling this area. And when we talk oiling, that means you need to do this every time you sit down to sew. So if you sewed all day yesterday, it's time to oil. And possibly if you sewed a lot, you need to oil in the middle of your day. Trust me, if you start to have any bobbin issues, you just need to add a little oil. This machine runs on lubrication. Next, this bobbin only goes in one way. So the little silver side that you see, that's the side that always goes down into the bobbin area. And you'll find that there is a little groove on the side. You'll bring your thread down through the groove and then across and kind of behind that little area that is a strip of metal. Next, kind of bring it down and underneath this little metal guide and it kind of just sits up in, in that area. As you look at the front of the bobbin case, you're gonna notice kind of this little silver arm across the front. And when you go to put it in the machine, that needs to be sitting about three o'clock. So kind of horizontal. As you push it in, if you hold on the outside part of the bobbin case, you don't wanna push against that little silver arm because that is where you pop it off. You'll notice there's a little indent on the far right side. And when you push it, that's what brings the bobbin case out for changing your bobbin. So once it's in, you have two options next. You can take your thread and use the thread cutter along the side of the machine and cut it. Then you don't even have to bring your bobbin thread up at all. You can just start sewing. Step on your foot control, the, the presser foot will lower. and It'll bring that bobbin thread up when it takes those couple locking stitches at that point. Now, if you are used to using the scissor button, when you use the scissor button, you're gonna notice that when you pull this out, you do not see any bobbin thread. So it has been cut and it's hiding underneath. As soon as you start to sew, once again, that bobbin thread will be linked up into the underneath side. Now, some people do and don't, some people don't like that little extra thread that's on the back side, so I'm gonna show you how you can eliminate that. I'm gonna go ahead and first go ahead and sew so I can find that bobbin thread brought up to the top. So instead of touching the scissor button, go ahead and touch the foot up function, lift up your presser foot, and pull it out. Now you're gonna notice the two strands of thread, and you can use the little cutter from back to front on the side of the machine holds it out of your way nicely. And then when you go to sew, you don't have to hold those threads and you don't have that little extra thread part at the, at the beginning. You can cut that, you could have locked it, you could have reversed it. There's lots of things to secure that. So if that little thread is in your way, just avoid using the thread cutter because that's leaving a little tail that is brought up each time as you sew.